What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. Coming to you from the lab. It's another Mindset Motivate Move Monday. Y'all know what we do on Mondays. We get you motivated to be able to move into position this week. I want you to move into position all week this week. We're moving into position. We're going to move into position because we want to be able to be, uh, we want to be able to unleash your entrepreneurial excellence here in 2024. You can't do that if you're not in position. So, we want to welcome y'all today. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We're going we gonna to jump right into this today. Um, I, I'm excited about this week, y'all. I'm excited about what we're going to do, what we're going to accomplish, those things that I'm going to bring to you this week that hopefully will give you uh, new insights, give you wisdom, and then give you some just some ideas, the, the innovativeness that's coming in, because um, I saw... Saw a um, in the office, which is um, in a, the the um, premier digital online um, online place for entrepreneurs. So if you want to um, learn more about that, hit me up in my DM. Um, Dominique uh, Edmonds is the creator of the office. Um, it's phenomenal. It's a place where where you can come and you can connect, uh, strategize, and impact with other entrepreneurs, like minded individuals. So you certainly want to uh, tune in uh, there. But but he put a great post in there that um, that that you should take uh, take notice of. And it's it's about innovation. It's about the cars, how cars are going to be able to move. Um, you know, now they they're creating these cars that that actually can move. Um, you know, uh, straight and back, the wheels actually move so that you can actually get into these small parking spaces <laughs> without without any uh, difficulty. Because you know, some some folks have had problems backing backing into parking spaces and stuff like that. So this was a it was a great um, a thing that he posted. Uh, it was a um, a video about you know this upcoming cars and stuff like that that they're creating, which I thought was really interesting. It just shows you. Um, where technology and innovation is going, um, but but we have to be willing to move forward. We have to be willing to um, do do see things um, in the tw- what I call the twenty first century way. So um, that's great. But this week we've got a um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We're going to be discussing. Um, and here's here's the thing, y'all. I'm gonna be we're gonna be talking about this all week. Um, y'all know it's the brand you. But the 21st century entrepreneur, being the 21st century entrepreneur, and I'm going to ask this question all week, what's in your briefcase? We're going to be dealing with those those things that should be in your briefcase that you want to have in preparation to being a 21st century entrepreneur. We're going to talk about public relations. We're going to talk about business plans. We're going to talk about um, branding strategies. We're going to talk about marketing plans. And we're going to talk about press kits. These are just a couple of things that we're going to talk about that we'll discuss that need to be absolutely positively in your uh, in, in your briefcase so that you can be that 21st century uh, uh, entrepreneur and unleash your um, uh, un- unleash your entrepreneurial excellence this year. These are things that you need to have. So that's what we're going to be dealing with this week. We're going to start off this week. We're going to start off today talking about public relations. Why is it important for you as an entrepreneur to have a, a PR system? What's your public relations system? How do you handle public relations as an entrepreneur? What what what, what is it? What, what's the reason for it? Why do why do you need it? Why do you need it as an entrepreneur? Uh, and, and then I'll talk a little bit about how you can maximize it today. Um, but the the main reason that you need um, a PR system is for visibility. You want to build your credibility, and then you're going to increase your bottom line those are those are a couple of three those are three points as to why you need a um need a pr system 
Let me say that again for you. You needed to gain visibility. You needed to build credibility. And then you needed to increase your bottom line. One of my building the 21st century company books is the customer is not always right. Uh, and it's success. Uh, it's, it's, um, that book is built around um, creating cre- cre- uh, business and fi- it's built around creating a healthy work environment, maximizing productivity, but increasing your bottom line. PR, public relations, assist you in being able to get the word out about who you are. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the increased visibility first, and, and I'm, j- I'm going to go through these really fast. Um, increased visibility, what does that do? Well, it, it helps you to in, uh, in increase your ability by getting featured in media outlets such as newspapers, magazines, um, blogs, podcasts, uh, news shows, newscast shows, TV shows. That that's a way for you to to increase your visibility, get the exposure that you need, so that so that you are able to reach your target audience. Public relations helps you, assist you in, in, in you being able to reach your target audience. So are you doing, from a visibility standpoint, those things that you need to do in order to be able to reach your target audience? That's, that's the first thing that it does. Building credibility. Public relations assists you in being able to build your credibility as a brand. So it, it helps you to establish credibility and authority in your niche or in your genre or your industry. What is it that you do? People will look at you as an expert because they see you in newspapers. They see you in magazines. What's up, D? Morning. They see you uh, in these particular um, outlets in order to be able to you know, to be able to um, express what it is that you know, the knowledge that you have, the insights that you have, the wisdom that you can share. Being featured uh, in respected media outlets and or receiving positive reviews from reputable sources can enhance you as an entrepreneur's reputation and make readers more likely to trust and purchase your products or services. People buy from people that they know, like, and trust. When you are um, on certain media outlets, people will garner you as, oh, they, they must really know what they're talking about in order to be able to be um, on in this newspaper or on this magazine. One of the things that my company does, JNF Enterprises, we are partnered with a magazine, Upwards Magazine, and if you would like to be featured in the in an uh, upcoming issue, um, starting with, with April, um, hit me up in my DM, and we can certainly do that um, with the articles that we do. We're looking for a, a aspiring or inspiring stories of upliftment from entrepreneurs, teachers, government officials, anybody that's having an impact and positive impact in the community. We're looking to tell your story. That's that's part of what that can do. Being in newspapers, I also have a partnership with the newspaper, the National Black Unity News. And and it, within the newspaper, I do the author showcase, which is where we give a platform to uh, authors that you might not readily see in mainstream media, but have phenomenal stories. So this is a way for you to be able to build credibility. Because people see you've been featured in magazines. They see you've been featured in newspapers. So you want to build your credibility. Number three is, is, is you can drive your product or service sales. You know, effective PR campaigns can directly impact uh, your, your product and service sales by generating buzz and interest around your work and the things that you do. Media coverage, reviews, and endorsements can persuade readers to purchase uh, your products and services, leading to increased sales and revenue. You've got to put yourself in a position where people can see um, the, the, the positive aspects of your products. They can see the benefits. And, and if you use PR, it should increase your sales. 
You, you you want to get reviews, and and that's the one thing that I would suggest every entrepreneur understand and know. Put have a, a a a PR system in place. Part of your PR system should be getting reviews from those that you serve. Do you mind taking the survey? Do you mind giving me a um a a a, a digital review? which is a video, giving me a, a digital content. It doesn't have to be long, 30 to, 30 to 60 seconds. That's it. Just about your product, your service, and how they felt about using your product and service. And you can use that in your other public relations uh, um, events that you that you use and do. Hey, I have, you know, the and, and uh, pictures with your product, with your service, other people or those that have purchased it, you want to have that um, on your website. You want to have that on your um, on, on your social media to let people know what others are saying about you in a positive way. So, so you want to be able to drive your product and and, and uh, service sales. Number four is establish your 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 brand. You've got to be able to establish your brand. PR allows you as an entrepreneur to shape and promote your personal brand, distinguishing you from others in your industry and creating a strong connection with those that you serve. Consistent messaging and storytelling can help you as an entrepreneur cultivate a unique branding identity that that resonates with your target audience. What language are you speaking to those that you serve? Or are you speaking the right language to those that you serve? What does your brand say about you every time somebody sees you, your product, or your service? Every time I come on here, I come on social media, every time that I come on a podcast, I'm intentional about how I represent my brand. That's part of my public relations. That's part of the system that I have in place for for my brand. So that people get to know who, who we are, what we do, and how we do it. That's what a brand should answer. Who you are, what you do, and how you do it. That's what part of what your PR system should do. Your public relations system should do. It should it should tell people on a consistent basis your story. And you want it to be in such a way that it, it resonates with them and that they want to be able to uh, purchase your products and free services because they can relate to it. And they know that that's the answer to their problem. That solves the, the um, your product or service solves the answer or is the answer to your problem. And the last one, y'all, um, is, is it can attract opportunities. PR can open doors to various opportunities for entrepreneurs, including speaking engagements. It can include collaborations um, and even literary, even awards for your industry by raising uh, by raising your prof- your profile and showcasing your expertise. You can attract invitations to participate in events, contribute to. Uh, uh, other um, other uh, partnerships that you might not gone had not garnered had you not attracted and talked about and put put your um, put your business out there or serve as sub- subject matter expert. There's nothing better than to be a subject matter expert on on the news. This is one thing that that Dr. Will taught me and taught those those of us that that have um, been under his mentorship is that every news station, local news station, is looking for um, good stories. And if you have a a product or service that caters to the type of stories that they need, then it gives you the opportunity as being a, 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 a segment expert, being a matter expert. You're an expert on this. You're an expert on the product or service that you that you offer. But you've got to reach out to them. That should be a part of your PR system. That should be a part of what you do. So you, you want to make sure that you 
that you that you utilize your your public relations system, creating that public relations system to increase your visibility, to build credibility, to drive your product service sales, to establish your brand, and to attract opportunities. That's what PR, a PR system in, in utilizing PR can do for you. So, as you think about today, I want you to think about your, 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 your PR system. What is your PR system doing? If you have one, you know, is it working? You want to take a look at it. Is it doing these things? And then two, you, you want to make, if you don't have one, then you want to make sure that you begin to implement one or have one, create one, so that you can maximize uh, you can maximize who you are uh, as a brand. You can you can gain the visibility that you need. You can build credibility, and that you can increase your bottom line. It's your boy, Dr. Leary McKenzie Jr. It's Monday, y'all. It's Mindset Motivate Move Monday. That's what we're doing on Monday. What's in your entrepreneur briefcase? We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.